My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. This is where we talk about Dr. Hill's philosophies and principles. Thank you for being here today. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming from. I'm Ariana Bell from Salt Lake City, Utah. That is awesome. Um, let's dive into it. Thinking Grow Rich. When did you start? How did you start? I read the book in 2014. It's probably one of the greatest. It is by far the greatest book I've ever read in my life. As we all know, the secret comes from Napoleon Hill's. Um, uh, Napoleon Hill is the one who came out with these ideas that what we think is what becomes. So 2014, I came across the book. That's how I got into Ariana Bell. That's how I got into other things. Uh, there is a secret behind it. You just got to find it. Life-changing book. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. It was, um, you know, I have a famous saying. I tell people a lot of times that books don't, we don't choose books. They choose us. And that book most definitely chose me in 2014. That is awesome. What are come some of the principles that you utilize today in your life day to day? And how do you implement those? Because I, I think one of the things that I've learned so far in my, you know, past maybe year, year and a half, speaking to a lot of people outside of my center of influence about the book is that everybody has their own method of implementation. So I'm always curious to learn how you utilize those principles. I'm extremely big on the number one principle. When I opened the book and he said, in order to think rich and grow rich, there is the number one thing you've got to do is believe in a higher power. Believe in a source, believe in a higher power. And I'm a very spiritual person. And that meant a lot to me because when you believe in a higher source or a higher power, you will understand that the universe works in your favor because there's something bigger out there, bigger than us. That's the first thing that I got from him. And I do believe in a, in a higher power. Always have, always will. The second thing I learned was, and this is extremely important. People have to understand thoughts become things. We are powerful creatures. Our mind is a powerful tool. I had a brother who was murdered in 2008 in my arms, but I forgave the man because the mind is a powerful tool. And my life changed. And as I begin to think positively about forgiveness or anything else in my life today, because of Napoleon Hill, because of that book, my life changed drastically. And I came to realize um, we are the master of our destiny. When he says that, People read it but don't understand it. Take that, take those words and soak it in like a sponge. What he is truly telling you is something that is so authentic and real. If you believe in a higher source and know that what you think you become, it, there, it, it's the truth. I agree with that 100%. So thoughts or things, what other, other principles um, are you utilizing today? I wait, I meditate every day to to the book. I wake up. I don't get out of bed without meditating. I take in ten positive things. I breathe them in and I breathe them out, and then I wake up and I start my day off with with books with things that I've I've read in the book. And I still have the book, and I've kept the copy of the book that I I read in 2014. I'm you know I have a foundation called Prison to Prosperity. I'm starting one of the first things I'm going to do with that foundation is send that book to every inmate that's incarcerated in the United States of America because that book is going to help those inmates significantly. There's just so much to learn. I mean, I believe what I think, you know, as Napoleon Hill says, what you think will become. So I take in 10 really big things that I want to do in my life and I breathe them in and breathe them out as I'm giving them back to the universe, giving them to the universe. Breathe in, breathe out, give to the universe. You if people were to implement this or they just start their day positive with positive thoughts and goals, right, right is a big thing. Uh, reading about the people that Napoleon Hill studied and sat with and talked with changes their life drastically. And I do that. I read about all the people he studied about. There's a place called Johnson O'Connor in San Francisco. The, where do they get the idea of taking people who don't really know where they want to go? Go to the school. It's great. They take you in, they take your skill sets, they find what you're best at, and they tell you what you will succeed in. And I do believe that there, there's a lot of truth behind that. And mm. what they do is take the greatest people that have lived it, ever lived, their mind, and they, they show you the similar characteristic traits of um, the greatest people. 
and where you will succeed in life if you go into that in that direction. I was married. My husband was a, a musician in the 70s. He eventually went to Johnson O'Connor. They told him he'd be great at commodities. And of course, he was like, I don't want to be a salesperson. Well, he ended up going into commodities and he became the number one top producer in Utah in commodities. So, you know, if you believe, first and foremost, I have to say, you've got to believe in yourself. Don't let other people hype you up. You got to hype yourself up. You got to be yourself. You got to be your self motivator. You got to wake up every day believing in you. Um, and of course, believing that there's a higher source above you and that it will happen. Things will happen. Nothing happens by coincidence, as he says. Um, everything happens for a reason. Whether it's good or bad, it's all happening to you for a reason. Embrace it. Embrace the good. Embrace the bad. I've been through some difficult times in my life, and I've been, every time I go through something difficult, I embrace it. Every time something great comes to me, I embrace it. I agree with that 100%. Uh, if you don't, I mean, nobody else is going to believe in you if you don't believe in you. So if you, you don't, yeah. First one in life. You've got to know your value, or no one else will know your value. You've got to know what you bring to the table, or nobody else will know. That is awesome. So let me ask you another question. What if we distribute the book to people before they actually get to prison? What if I, we get to them before? What if we yeah. get to the kids that we know that maybe their surroundings are not going to get them to where they want to go and kind of do a preventive uh, – I mean, it says in the book. A lot of people disagree with me when I talk about education system and, you know, schooling is not the answer all the time. No, no. And, and it talks about in the book that if the students were to read this book cover to cover and somebody explains it to them, it could potentially, not guarantee, it could potentially cut their schooling time in half because they realize that a lot of the materials that they need is here, they could utilize it, find out what they want to do, write down their goal, write down their affirmation, get their specialized knowledge, be part of a mastermind group, and just go out there and do good for other people, and potentially make a lot of money in the process, which we all need to live these days, you know, I don't know if you don't have that much money, if you can live or not, but, you know, that's the society we live in, that you do, money is a tool, so you're going to need it, right? Oh, absolutely. How you make it is important also, too, without violating anybody's rights. So to me, it's like, why not teach this in schooling system a lot at earlier age versus wait till someone is 30 or 40? That still helps, but why not get to them earlier? I wish I had read that book when I was in elementary. You know, I was reading Malcolm X, his autobiography, when I was in the third grade. That was the re book report I did. But I would have loved to have done a book report, Napoleon Hill. Think rich, grow rich. I definitely believe that we need it in our education system, 110%. It's not just before prison. The reason why I say prison is because these people lack opportunity. A lot of our inmates in the system today lacked opportunity. They didn't believe in themselves. They didn't have self-confidence. But if we put this in our how, – how, if we gave this to our educational system, how many people wouldn't go to the penitentiary or the prison? We would, we would cut it by – massive numbers so yes i think it needs to go into edu educational systems i stand by you on that we should have our children read this book it should be my children i have a 13 year old it's mandatory read a little bit i tell him read a little bit at a time he's already got this this entrepreneurial mind because of, of the world we live in today but read the book and learn what napoleon hill is teaching you and i tell him there's a secret he says what's the secret mom i said i can't tell you I agree with down. That. But yes, we need it in education. We have to have it in educational systems. And if you were to push it, I would push it behind you. I 100%. agree with that 100. I am. I am working on some. It's it's in infancy stages of implementation, but I think it's. Um, we're gonna. It's not that it cannot be done. It's the the challenge is we have a lot of unopen minded individuals that are running the school systems and these entities. And the problem is they're operating out of scarcity and the uncertainty that this book brings or material similar to this, it's unknown to them. So they get scared and they're not, they're not too excited about changes. But when that comes in, it makes it a little bit difficult. However, that doesn't mean it's impossible. 
you know if you can That's if you can do it it could manifest itself we might start from our own community little by little it will grow it might take 10 20 years before it gets to the education system but you know what fantastic we got to start from somewhere we can't just go dominate overnight it's got to be little by little so i'm totally for it so uh definitely me and my team will definitely reach out to you and kind of collaborate on that as much Absolutely. as possible I, I would love so we to. could put our you know create a little mastermind group around that just to get it out there more i think we're doing an okay job i don't think you know we're we're getting it this is this is the crazy part i hope we're not recording this i see a model on instagram has more followers than us and when i see that i'm all like what the heck is going yeah. on right we got the cure we got the cure for most of your challenges in your life in this book it was written a, almost 100 years ago it's been time tested it's been proven i have utilized it but i still got to compete with a model on instagram they got 5 million followers and we got like 50 followers so it's like Stop. crazy this i mean the the problem is people you know social media is being it's it's not being used for the proper things and if we could use it to influence people in a positive way rather than the way you look or how many followers you have um people i think we lost you the lab to pick up the book. I mean, it's the it factor. You're either born with it or you're not, and if you're not born with it, guys, pick up the book and read it. Leader readers make leaders. It's I'm big into books. I read all the time. I I'm researching constantly. I was a a, a I was a woman who wanted to be a, a law student. I wanted to go into law, but I've learned after reading this book, I memorized law. I don't need a degree. I've memorized the law. I know my rights. and it was because of this book you set your mind to anything you can accomplish it it is not impossible there's nothing that is impossible man went to the moon as john f k says we don't we don't do things because they're easy we do them because they are hard put in the work of what others are not willing to do and you will see the results there's a reason why america there's only 1% or is it 3% today i think we've dropped in numbers that are successful it's because they're willing to do what 97% of society is not willing to do why yet you want to be like everybody else on Instagram or these so-called models and you want to have a Louis Vuitton purse or 9 million of them or whatever it is but money let's face it money Napoleon Hill wasn't about being rich money is a tool it gives you a it's a tool to give you a lifestyle to live comfortably but it also gives you the tools to change the lives of others and to help others and i love what you're doing taking this book and changing the lives of others and the viewers and the people that follow you and and i'm i'm, I'm you know i've got to give you credit on on the following that you do have because of napoleon hill's book thank you. thank you i think we're doing a okay job but i uh, i'm never satisfied i think we could do more i think we could do better i uh, i think we're at that stage where we're like fine tuning everything but i also see that you know there's a lot of people out there it's you know sometimes we throw the number we say us 340 350 million but that's just a number when you get out there and you I look at all these community it's it's a it's a humongous number definitely. it is not a joke it's a lot of people so uh definitely and we're not even going i'm not going to even talk about globally but there's i was going to say globally you know it's interesting you take a book like that globally my parents are from afghan heritage right take the book to afghanistan pakistan india india has probably already read the book right they're so educated and so above us it's unfortunate and we as americans not only should we be proud living in this country as americans but living in the land of opportunity these foreign countries don't have opportunity like we do pick up the book pick it That's up what you have to do 100% you and i are going to be in contact me and my team will definitely reach Absolutely. out to you collaborate let's see what we can do especially that we haven't been coming down to utah so maybe we could travel over there kind of oh, get utah. there we'll we'll knock on doors if let's the mormons do it, do it with it. the book of mormon let's do it with napoleon hill <laughs> as a matter of fact they do have a big mormon church which i have no idea how they could afford that kind of a land in la but on wilshire boulevard in santa monica westwood area 
I mean, that because church. They read, Seek Rich, Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. And, and, that's and, how. And it's crazy. <laughs> you know, sometimes I drive by there, I'm, I'm just looking at the land, and I'm like, wow, this is so beautiful. Like, it, I mean, it's all grass. It's on top of a little, I don't know if I, you've seen it or not. It's on a little hill. It's beautiful. I'm like, man, live, that's awesome. I live up on a hill, and they've got this beautiful temple right, right just across from me, not far, far away from where I live. And like you said, it's all green and beautiful. Green's one of my favorite color, by the way. It is the color of the dollar bill. But <laughs> and, actually, in, in that temple, my wife has actually been there. She had a we had an interfaith uh, event, and my wife went there. I kind of hit myself in the head why I, I didn't go with her, but she <laughs> loved it. Uh, the scenery was amazing. It was uh, the one time that led people in some sections that usually they don't let people in. Um, so it was it was pretty cool. She had a good experience, and she got one of their books. They give her one of the books that so she brought home. I kind of glanced at it. I haven't gone through it yet, but it was pretty cool that she was able to do that. Listen, you and I are going to be in contact. I want to thank you so much for taking this time. I enjoyed it. You and I are going to be in contact for sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Now, everybody, take it. his advice. Follow him. Pick up the book. Let it change your life as it's changed mine. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, you guys have bye a bye. wonderful day. Enjoy. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.